Thanks, Bye. Yeah. Bye. Sit down, Sia. Okay. Hey guys. Hey guys. We're back with another video. I'm with a guest. This is our editor. This is our, uh, our Shut up, friend. friend. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> it. She's, she's like she's behind the scenes. Like she helps yeah. us like a lot. So it's easy. Fun. And we're doing um, an injera mukbang. It's our first eating show. And yeah, we're very excited because it looks delicious, mm -hmm. and we had to include Aziza in it because, like, how she's just gonna sit over there? Yeah, no, and while we're eating, she has yeah. to come in. Yeah. yeah. So, um, for those of you who don't know what injera is, it's Ethiopian food, basically. Um, injera is the bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's like a spongy bread. Like, yeah. Made with like whole taste, flour, whole wheat flour. Yeah, it tastes stuff. similar to sourdough a little bit, mm -hmm. um, and it's very soft. Mm -hmm. Like, if you and by itself, it's kind of it. sour, but yeah. it balances out when you eat like the flavors and yeah. stuff. So um, let's explain what's on the plate. Okay. Okay. So this right here, this is called Yatasha Kitfo, and it's Kitfo is basically um, ground beef. Ground beef that is a little bit raw. Very raw. Actually, a little bit raw. And you can get it different ways, but Yatasha Kitfo is like a different style of Kitfo where they um, mix up ibe, which is cottage cheese, and um, Goldman, which is um, kale. 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 Yeah, which is kale, and they like kind of like cut it all up, and then they put it on the pan like very like for like a second and then they mix it with um ethiopian butter which is just butter basically mixed with like spices and stuff and then you eat that and it tastes so good oh my god i'm so excited yeah no seriously um, um yeah tips yeah you do yeah. tips how do we explain it basically it's just um this is cha beef chips. no it's goat beef sheep goat what is it beef I don't even know. I don't know. Beef Either or goat? Beef, goat, sheep. I don't know. I don't know. But they mix it with red peppers, Ethiopian butter, and spices, and um, other stuff too. Onions. Yeah. Like yeah. just like um, spices to yeah, make it just taste it amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Then we have lettuce, like just like a little salad here. Yeah. And there's like gomen, which is again like kale, but it's by itself. And then mm -hmm. masur, which is lentils. Mm -hmm. Which is and red lentils. Red lentils. Mm -hmm. Do we have yellow lentils? Yeah, no? we do. It's somewhere hidden here. Like we yeah. have to like move it all from the box. It's right here. Yeah. It's just hidden under here. Yeah. Let everybody look at this. Yeah. In case you guys okay. can see. And this is lecha, which is like cabbage and carrot. And yeah. Like potatoes. And, like stuff. and it tastes like it's all seasoned really mm -hmm. like well. It's mm -hmm. so good. And then um, this is awazi, which is meat meat, which is another spice. Um, lemon. Le lemon? Yeah. Lemon. And a little bit of wine sometimes. I, I don't even know how to make it. Yeah. Lemon. I think that's how they make it. And then they like they mix it up and then it that's that. And then meat meat is just the like powdered spice. spice. Right and there. then the beef, which I think it's called queso. Yeah, right? Yeah. something? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So that's uh, yeah. what Injera is, basically. Mm -hmm. and, oh, guys, I eat with my left hand, and that's like not allowed in Ethiopia. Like, yeah. If you eat with your left hand, it's like. They slap it. They not slap nowadays, it. though. Well, they, they like, my, when I went to Ethiopia, like, they know me, they know I'm left handed. Mm -hmm. So, like. Did they care when you went? Because she went during the summer. Yeah, yeah. They, they care? They're like, I thought they would get over They look at me and they're like, still eat like this. Oh, like. <laughs> Oh. So there's this restaurant if you live in Toronto on the Danforth. It's called Wazaima. They have really good Ethiopian food. We ordered the um, vegetarian platter for one. Mm -hmm. Then we ordered one order of kitfo, Yatasha kitfo, and then we ordered one order of cha cha toast. Mm -hmm. I hope I don't sound like so much. You're but, right. You sound much. She does. I think she sounds pretty good, like compared to me. I don't so know. Cha -cha. <laughs> I guess like cha -cha. I guess cha cha toast. But you don't what? speak Amharic. Are you? Speak to Kenya. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you don't sound white when you speak to Kenya. I don't speak to Kenya, but like when, when you I say, say words, I kind of. so white. Because yeah. I like don't even speak it, which is pretty shameful. It's not that bad. No, I mean, everyone. We eat everything with our hands, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And they're probably like, where's the utensils? Where's yeah. the chopsticks? Where's everything? No. No. Your hands. You with your hands. Your hands like kind of good. Like, people kind of know what it is. Yeah, it's kind of getting up there. Yeah. Like, people, people have like. And you're from the city, from your New York or LA. Obviously DC because that's where all the Ethiopians are. Yeah. <laughs> we should all move there together. Yeah. And so, like, in is kind of like a, like it's like a community eating mm. thing. Like you're not supposed like that's why they have these huge plates. Mm -hmm. It's for everyone to eat together. Yeah. And your hands get dirty. It's okay. Like it's okay. And they do gorsha. 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 Gorsha is when you display um, what that is. Okay, here. As you said, I'm gonna give you push I have the thing is you have to take it. It's disrespectful. Yeah. Push -up. Do you want me to make that? Yes, please. Okay, let me eat. Not too much. Oops. <laughs> okay, well, that's not too much. Kind of. <laughs> that's Gorsha. That's Gorsha when I when somebody else feeds you. Mm -hmm. And if you don't.
don't take it, mm-hmm. how dare you? And then if you don't take the one after that, how dare you? Oh. <laughs> and it's like, I'm the chest not allowed. Like, you can't just have one. Me and my friend Taylor were talking about, um, if, like, what would you do if your best friend got proposed to at your wedding? Like, at your own wedding? Mm-hmm. Uh, like, at the end of your reception. I was like, I would not have that. What? <laughs> That's something that came out of your mouth. So <laughs> shit. Sorry. <laughs> I have to say that again. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I wouldn't have it, and she was saying that I was being selfish. It's not that you're being selfish, like, it's understandable if you don't mm-hmm. want to do that, but I don't know. Like, if my best friend was getting proposed to at my wedding, it would have to be, like, at the end of the wedding, like, maybe, like, um, at the reception. Wait, is the reception? The yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. At no. the end, like, when you're dancing and stuff, Yeah, right? when is the end? The end, yeah, the end. Okay, yeah, the reception of my wedding, and, um, like, when everybody's having fun and stuff, then we can, like, mute... The music and like then you can do it. Oh no! And but then like, let's say you weren't you in celebrate. On it. Let's say you weren't in on it. No, no, no. No, they have would have to. to. Yeah. yeah, they would have to. Totally. I'm saying like even like, if it's they, my wedding, if they asked me, I would say no. Oh, <laughs> oh, just because I don't think it's selfish. Just because like I don't know like it's weird. Like it's not even her family and friends. Like it's my family and friends. Like why do you want to oh. be in front of me? I mean, but like if friend. that's your best friend, I feel like her family and friends would be there too. No. Mm. Like I, at your wedding. I know what you mean, but like. I don't know. Maybe if I'm leaving, yeah, I think you just want the no, light like, to be on you. Yeah, no, yeah it's, it's one day. I know. It, you, I know. It's literally just one day. Yeah. It's understandable if you don't want it, but like, I, like personally, I wouldn't care. It would just have to be at the reception. It can't be anywhere else. Can you imagine if it was like during the wedding? <laughs> Are you asking <laughs> what I just said? <laughs> no, but like that's disrespectful. That's mm-hmm. true. I, I don't I don't know if I would say yeah to that. Like it's kind of my day. Like why are you trying to do it? Like it's kind what? of if I wanted to get engaged. I know, but like, is I mean, kind of, you know, like, yeah. like, wouldn't it be selfish of me to be like, hey, Shoshana, at your wedding, do you mind? Yeah. Like, it's selfish but it would, of me but to you ask wouldn't, you. you wouldn't know that. It would be yeah, like, your know, husband. Yeah, it's, it's selfish of him, too. Yeah, I'm, obviously, I'm not going to get mad at her. She doesn't know. she doesn't know. Me. But, like, I'm going to get mad at him. If he did it without my permission, that's a problem. And then if you ask me, I'm just going to say no. And then if you do already it, know. Do yeah. it the next day. We can set something up for you. Like, yeah. You know. Honestly, yeah, there are other days. Like, there's so, there's two Friday days in the year. There are other days, Like, you know what I mean? But I don't know. If you even want to do it the next day, do it the next day. Just mm-hmm. not at my wedding mm-hmm. when I dressed up. I paid for this whole thing. I guess, yeah. Like, and like you're doing this on, on, my, point, on my time. What you're asking me is also, do, like, do you want to fight? It. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> do you want to fight? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So <laughs> now we know what type of person is that really is. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. No, just at my wedding. Like, any, anything else. Like, I'm, you guys know me. Like, I don't care. I don't even like attention like that. But like, that's one raw thing. Mm, yeah. Like, if I got married four times, maybe. But, like... No, right? On your fourth <laughs> wedding, you can't do that. Like, <laughs> fine. But if I'm getting married once, like, I'll, leave me alone. <laughs> no, for real. Leave her alone. Like, this is her day. Like, let the girl... Let the girl get married by Why, why give me stress? Yeah. <laughs> On Twitter, we, were, we saw this um, post. It was, like, can your man have a close girlfriend? Or, like, a best friend? Have a girl girlfriend. best friend, basically. And I say no, because... I say no to the best friend... But, like, I say a close friend can go on, like, like you know what I mean? Like, a close friend. Like, was she there before me? Um, yeah. I still say no. I think by that way. <laughs> Are you crazy? I still say no, because, like, like, a friend, like, okay, like, let's say I'm texting Hello, my that's man. that's crazy. Like, no, but I'm texting me. Listen to me. Like, let's say I'm texting my man every day. Mm-hmm. He's also texting this girl all the time? Oh. Mm-hmm. That's not what a close friend is. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. That's a best friend. I have an issue with that. Even a close friend, like you're texting them once in a while, if you're hanging out with them solo dolo, definitely one hundred percent. What? Sorry. Uh-uh. That's crazy talk. Maybe. Okay, no new friends. Maybe if it was like a family friend and you guys maybe are like close don't. friends. Maybe no a husband. Listen, no new friends. <laughs> Listen, maybe it's allowed to have. A- By the way, we have to tell each other. You're horrible on our teeth. Is that good my teeth? No, but we have to tell each other. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. But um. <laughs> no, I'm saying let's say he went to high school and he's cool with this one girl. She's like. She, like, they don't have feelings for each other. Like, they're just close friends. They've been close friends. Okay, but let's They've be been real. friends before you. No, like, not best friends, Akela. Okay, close but let's friends. be real. Let's say, maybe I'm just being an insecure person, but let's say, yeah. let's say, <laughs> let's say they're both, like, like okay, obviously man's going to be, like, attractive to you. Mm-hmm. And she's also an attractive girl. Mm-hmm. You don't have any problem. Oh, that's another thing. thing. She can't be more, she can't be prettier than me. She can't, I don't even want her to be cute. Like, okay, it's true. Or you can't be cute. Like, you know what I mean? If, if, you're, if your close friend is your close friend, like, that has to be an ugly close friend. Yeah. Like, like she has to be beat. Like, <laughs> I have to say, yeah, go ahead. You can hang out with her. Like, it's fine. But if, and, like, the second she's, like, the hell? As, like, if she's as pretty as me, or like, prettier than me, I'm going to say, nope, I'm sorry. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Or I have to come with you. <laughs> no, but how if you know, I feel like you, right now, because you're not in that position, it's okay. What do you mean? Like, 
Open your mouth? Okay, it's not. Okay. Um, because you're not in that position right now where you're like, like, I feel like if you're in a position where your man had a friend from a long time and she's as pretty as you and you know that they're just friends. You've never been in that position, but. Yeah, you know, that's what I'm saying. You've never, saying. You've never yeah, been in that position, so you don't know. Like, you might just think the girl's a cool girl. Or she might be your friend, too. You know what I mean? Uh, no. I don't know. I just know so many slimy girls. Yeah. That, like, that's not their intention. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like. Well, I feel like if they've been friends from before. Do you want to like, just have friends or something? Like, why am I getting friends? No! I'm saying. I'm saying for in general. You're lucky right now because you don't have to deal with that. Like, I'm mm-hmm. like. But I'm saying if that was to happen. Like, in another relationship. Like, like even in your relationship. But I guess, like. What stopped them from hmm? being in a relationship themselves if they if they knew each other longer than I knew them? Maybe they don't. They did also have like romantic feelings. Yeah, like, I guess that's, that's a good point. Mm-hmm. Like, if they ha- if it didn't happen they're, yet, if they're like close friends. You have close guy friends. So that's why I'm not understanding. No, she doesn't. No, no, I don't have no, close guy doesn't. friends. Like I have like like Brandon and yeah. like like Marley and whatever. But like they're not like actually like my close 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 friends. Like yeah, but like, we don't talk on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, but that's like, well, listen, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying like about thing. And when you were at Ryerson, you saw Marley like all the time. No. Mm-hmm. So if, like, your man saw, like, their school friend all the time, that's their close friend, you're not going to have a problem? I guess I won't have a problem with that because they're at school. Yeah. She grew up with Marley, too. Like, I, like, I no, you, before. You, that's what like, I'm Oh. That's what I'm saying. That's, <laughs> that's, okay. that's what I'm saying. The man knew. I think it's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> she hates us. <laughs> it's, like, dumb and dumber. Dumb and dumber. <laughs> so, guys, we need to restock in the Kitpo because it's almost finished. Kitpo is, like, the most popular thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're also talking about in the car. We were getting this food. Was what would you do if your man got jumped? Like in front of you, and it's just you guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is like the scariest situation, <laughs> right? Because if you can't fight him, I'm not. Say, say your say your punk ass answer. Say it. Tell them. Tell them the truth. Okay, I would run away. <laughs> yeah. Call nine one one while oh, running away. <laughs> Hold on. No. That's not what you said. Hear me out. Yeah. Okay. What you said was I'm bolting. Like, but um, yeah, I would call them while running away, and them. Call him to see if he's okay after. <laughs> That's it. So you'd run away. He's gonna hurt me after this. Can we not post this fart? Hmm. What do you mean? What does he want you to do this, girl? Like, yeah, like I definitely can't take the man if mm-hmm. you can't take the man. So do you, don't you want me to be safe? Like, can I go? I feel I'll say your answer. Um, I think my answer would be the same as yours. Oh, I said I would wait until the fight is done <laughs> and just like stand on the side. He'll rob you too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he totally yeah. would. But yeah, I'm not gonna leave him. Like, what if it's me getting jumped? Would you just leave? By girls? Of course, yeah, by girls. She's not Oh, but not for the kids. I feel like I something. look like I can fight. I feel like I can scare people. Yeah, I remember. No. I, think you're very young. I feel like you can fight, but she I don't feel intimidating. Like intimidating. I don't. I get. I, people tell me all the time I look intimidating. Mm-hmm. But. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know this, this type yeah, of intimidating. I think it's like 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 you're a bitch intimidating. Yeah, that kind of intimidating. That's what I always get. Do you guys get that? No. Off of you? People oh. think I'm oh, the yeah. nicest person ever. Yeah, true. Well, I am. People think I'm unapproachable, but not intimidating. So, so, so I would run and call 911. Mm-hmm. What would you do? I would just wait it out until it's done. And if they, like, try to take myself, I'll just give them my stuff. <laughs> what would you do? Same thing as Kayla. Like, I'm not going to leave the man. Like, I can't do that. I can't leave him. Like, and then have him go home by himself. Oh, my God. I'm just, you know, yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, now you're making me feel bad. <laughs> Like, yes, I, I wouldn't. But I feel like in the moment, you actually, I could see you running. Yeah, I, I could see me running, it, too, yeah. to be honest. Like, that's just scary. I, don't I feel know, like you would scary. regret it, but, like, you would do it. Like, you know what I mean? You'd say, I'm sorry. Yeah. But then that's still what you did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dating older guys. Like, the 30, 40, 50. Oh, older. <laughs> shut up. No one dates that old. I was talking, when I said dating older guys, I meant, like, 28, 27. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking old. This bitch said 40, 50. Oh, okay. Would you guys say no to guy? I feel not. Because I feel like if you're out here like like old like as an older guy, even twenty eight. Like Thirty like what what like what happened with you that you can't find somebody your age? That's a good question. That's yeah. what I'm okay, let's just do the realistic of like dating a twenty eight year old. I personally think twenty eight year old? Yeah, like I think like <laughs> <laughs> you can't reject it. No. There was nothing in there. Sorry, that's how we eat it. No syndrome. <laughs> but um yeah, no, like, if 28, your, your gender, your degree, you have a job, you have your own place because you're not 28 living at your parents' house. Sometimes you are. Sometimes, like, hey, life is Sometimes, expensive. yeah, okay, sometimes life. But, like, you have a savings. Like, yeah, you, know you, you, should, have a savings. you should have a savings. You should pl- be planning to move out. I'm, like, 
That's struggling. Like my parents' house forever because that like, shit is so expensive. <laughs> Yeah, Toronto, like, Thanks house so. market. Can we not talk about it? It's kind of depressing. No, it actually is depressing. <laughs> when you get into it, it's yeah. like, I will never be able to afford anything mm-hmm. unless somehow I get a jackpot. Like, mm-hmm. unless, like... Unless I'm married for money. It's actually true, though. Like, how are you going to afford a place? Mm-hmm. It's so scary. Me and Thing talk about this all the time. It's like, oh, my God. Because people are out here, like, moving to Whitby and shit. Yeah, you have to. Mm-hmm. Like, if you want to And I'm like, a lot of people don't belong in Whitby. Like, you know what's weird? Why don't mm-hmm. Ethiopian people have, like, dessert? What do you mean? Why? They just eat cake. No. Yeah, they eat cake from Toronto. Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> no, like back home, like here, obviously. They eat cake back, back home. home they eat cake. That's all they eat. But like it's Italian, like, nice Italian. Yeah, yeah but they, they eat dry cake. cake and like. I hate dry cake. It's so uh, or you know, you know, it's popcorn. Oh no, popcorn is <laughs> not a dessert. First of all, it's not even sweet. They did us think popcorn is like. Oh, I have popcorn. <laughs> okay. So good. Old people are mean. Like that's what I just learned from working at that job. Like old people are dead ass the meanest people ever. And I'm just like, sometimes they're really sweet. Sometimes they're mm-hmm. sweet, but a lot of like all the bad experiences I had at work were like I, I got cursed by an old lady. Mm-hmm. She told me I was gonna go to hell. I was dead ass <laughs> scared for the rest of the day. But she came in my cubicle, like you know she what she had? Huh? No, she was guys. She could have been a witch. Oh, she could have been a witch. <laughs> yeah. So I said, you know. <laughs> I was so scared. She told me I stole. She's like I stole. She like you stole my coupon. Rachel did blah blah blah. I actually I just just, like actually did take her coupon by accident and was like I don't know, I don't know what happened. But I was like I don't have your fuck like I don't coupon this and she was just like, oh da 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 you're gonna go to hell da 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 and she's coming in the thing. I don't know by accident. You took it? What? Give it to her. No, like I think I I think I took it and thought it was ours. But like, cause it must have been like on the table. So when did you realize you took the coupon? I just like the thing is we have so damn prideful for any other person. Did you already realize you took the coupon? No, we were not supposed to ever give out coupons. I give out coupons all the time, but because she was being rude, I'm gonna say yes. I am not gonna get a coupon, right? Mm-hmm. Oh. But she had one. I'm sorry, man. So I think you deserve. And that I got coupon. her bags from the mall because. <gasps> but that's because she came in my mall. <laughs> She's not too evil. No, she came like in my. No, face. I was ready to feel bad for you. <laughs> she came in my face. Like she came oh. in my like. In the thing, oh, yeah. like in the cash register thing. Oh, no, that's she's crazy. she's lucky to fly kick her. Um, I was saying like when you're like sixteen or like fifteen or whenever you get your first job, it's mm-hmm. so different. Like mm-hmm. I compare myself now. It's like mm-hmm. I used to care so much. I used to be so afraid of like yeah like managers and mm-hmm. people. Like and then you just like a couple years of work experience and then you just come back like it's like one Shut year. The fuck up. One year maybe. <laughs> so we're done our little chit chat uh, mukbang. I hope you enjoyed. Like, almost done. We can't touch, like, that was so We are so full. I'm, oh, like, yes. I'm like, almost asleep. <laughs> and Indira is very heavy, so we're yeah, going to be full heavy. for the next, like, six hours. Six days. Six, okay, six days. Um, yeah, but we're done. Hope you guys enjoyed our conversation. Hope you guys go food. and try some Indira mm-hmm. if you haven't before. It's really good. Mm-hmm. I suggest um, Sora on Danforth. Um, Wazema's pretty good. There's Rendezvous. There's a lot of restaurants all over the city mm-hmm. if you're, like, from the Danforth area. Mm-hmm. Yep. And don't forget to comment, like, like subscribe. subscribe, share the video if you see it on Facebook or anything like that. Yeah, bye. Thumbs up for Aziza. Thumbs up for Aziza <laughs> being the video. Finally yeah, in front of the camera. <laughs> I just came for the intro, but and the company, I guess. Okay. And the conversation. Okay, bye. Bye. bye.